every winter, the line of year-round snow would move further and further south. If the catastrophic event of 89,000 years ago repeats itself, the ice could return within a single lifetime. If an ice age is coming, what can we do to stop it? Nuclear energy might be used to loosen polar ice caps. Sea ice could be melted by covering it with black soot to increase the absorption of sunlight. Dr. Steven Schneider is a climatologist from the National Center for Atmospheric Research. Can we do these things? Yes. But will they make things better? I'm not sure. We can't predict with any certainty what's happening to our own climatic future. How can we come along and intervene then in that ignorance? You could melt the ice caps. What would that do to the coastal cities? The cure could be worse than disease. Would that be better or worse than the risk of an ice age? If the polar ice melted completely, sea level would rise 180 feet. New Orleans, San Francisco, and New York would be submerged. Clearly, one of the future's great problems will be to survive the next ice age. We now continue with In Search Of. Earth, water, air, and ice comprise a delicate system in which everything is connected to everything else. It's the interaction between people and climate that worry me the most because with everyone jammed in in countries, locked in in national boundaries, a change in climate means a redistribution of where the rain is, where the growing seasons are. My worst fear is that the climate could induce a change in some country that would be devastating to their local survivability and that would lead them to desperate acts that could drag everybody else down. In the past, weather disasters have fostered a spirit of mutual concern. When drastic changes in our climate occur, hopefully the same acts of courage and cooperation will prevail. In the 1970s, one of those who believed the Earth was facing an ice age caused by humans was Professor Stephen Schneider of Stanford University. However, Professor Schneider is now one of the leading scientists claiming the Earth is heating up because of man-made global warming. He's a senior member of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and a close advisor to former Vice President Al Gore. Professor Schneider was with Al Gore when he heard he had won the Nobel Peace Prize. I'm, of course, deeply honored to receive this award. In the 1970s, Professor Schneider was a leading voice warning of an imminent ice age. Today, he gives frequent interviews warning the complete opposite, that we are all in danger from imminent global warming. Don't be poor in a hot country. Don't live in Hurricane Alley. Watch out about being on the coasts or in the Arctic. It's a bad idea to be up on high mountains with your glaciers melting and losing your water supply. And if you're in a Mediterranean climate, you're going to have a fire season in the summer. It's really going to be a problem. Professor Schneider was interviewed for this documentary. We asked him about his belief in the 1970s that there was going to be a new ice age. After the interview, lawyers for the university wrote to us, stating we could not use our footage of Stanford, and that Professor Schneider was withdrawing permission for his interview to be screened. According to legal advice, we are prevented from screening Professor Schneider's image or footage of Stanford filmed during our interview. But we can report what he said, using an actor saying his actual words. I was initially, in 1970 and 71, more worried about cooling. Indeed, Professor Schneider in the 1970s published papers and praised books which warned of the devastating consequences of the forthcoming man-made ice age. But within 10 years, Professor Schneider and the scientific consensus was claiming the Earth was experiencing global warming. The scientific community is very, very confident that it's warming. 